hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to run multiple odoo instance using pycharm so currently in my system i have already configured pycharm with odoo and you can see i am accessing odoo 15 community edition and if i go to pycharm here you can see this is my pycharm and its configuration i have a project named 15.0 and I have the Odoo source code here and this is my Odoo configuration file. So I can start my Odoo service from here and I can stop the service from here. So you can see right now the I have killed the service. So I have clicked, clicked on the kill stop. So my Odoo instance will not be available and I can resume it by clicking the play button. So my Odoo instance will be available. So this is the configuration that I have currently, which is running on the port 8015. So let's assume a case where you need to have or you need to get another Odoo instance of Odoo version 15 itself. That is, you need two instance of Odoo 15 inside your PyCharm. So let's see how we can do that. So what I'll do is that I'll add one more configuration and I will run another separate Odoo instance in the port 8025. So currently, if I go to my browser and I'll type, so I will not type 00, I will use localhost. And if I try to access 8025, you can see the site can be reached. Right now, there is nothing running on port 8025. So what I will doing, I will be running a separate Odoo 15 instance or separate Odoo instance on 8025. So what you have to do, you have to copy your configuration file first. So I have my current configuration file here that is odoo.conf. So what I'll do, I'll right click and I'll copy and I'll paste it in the same folder itself. odoo.conf2, I'll name it as this or you can put odoo custom, any name you can give according to your project. So I'll just give it as odoocustom.conf and I will save it. So I have copied my current configuration file and what I will do, I will just remove my custom add-ons path from here. I just need only Odoo add-ons path. So this is my Odoo, default Odoo source code, Odoo folder, just copy its path and you can put it here. So in add-ons path, I am just adding only default Odoo add-ons. I will copy this, copy path and I'll put it here and here you can see the port we have to change the port and we need to make it run on 8025 so I'll change XML RPC port to 8025 and I'll use the same database user so if you need to create a separate database user so you can create it we have made a video on how to create a database user for Odoo so I'll just adding that video link in the description section so if you need to create a separate user you can refer that video and create a separate user and specify its username and password over here so we have successfully copied the configuration file what next you have to do you have to configure the pycharm so either you can go from run edit configuration or you can access it from here edit configuration so either you can access it from here or you can access it from edit configuration. So I'll go from here, edit configuration. So you will see your current Odoo 15. You can see this is the script path, parameters, interpreter, working directory, everything you will see over here. So we need to add one more. So you can see you have a plus button over here. Click on that plus button. You need to add a Python unnamed. First of all, you can give a name Odoo custom you can give a name then you have to choose the script path so script path in the previous one script path is this one you have to select the same so I'll click on this directory odoo 15 then odoo you have to choose the bin odoo bin that is the script path then you have to specify what you have to specify this parameter so i'll explain it what's parameter so odoo custom dot conf and my interpreter is i'll be running on python 3.8 so python 3.8 and i'll set the working directory as 15.0 
So same as, so here, here you can see current config script path is the same. I have copied here and only change that I have done from here is here we are in parameter I have specified Odoo conf. So in the second one, I have specified my new configuration file that is Odoo custom.conf and rest of the things are same. Now click on apply and click on OK. So you can see you will have two configuration here. So currently I'm running Odoo 15 at the port 8015. Now if you need to run the second instance, you can select it Odoo custom, click on run button. You can see it's running on 8025. So if you go to the browser, so initially the site can be reached. And if I refresh, you can see you are able to access the Odoo. So here you can see you have Odoo 15 at the port 15 and here you have Odoo 15 at the port 8025 and let's try to create a new database. So I'll create a new database and my master password is admin 123. So if you check the configuration file, the admin password is 123, admin 123 and my database name. I'll name it as custom 15, enter email admin, I'll give admin admin and demo data and I'll give the country as United States and let's continue. So let's just create a database and confirm everything is working fine and without any issues. So you can see the database is getting created and you can see in the first configuration file I have added the custom add-ons path that is OM folder which contains the Odoo Mates modules but in the second I haven't added any custom add-ons path only I load the default Odoo add-ons. So if you go back to the browser you can see we have successfully installed or successfully created the database and here we have the default Odoo modules whereas in the first instance if you go to the apps menu you have Odoo 15 accounting by Odoo mates fiscal year and log date payroll accounting everything you can see over here because in this instance we have loaded custom add-ons path but here there is no <coughs> custom add-ons path OM account you will not find it here so this is how we can add multiple Odoo instance using PyCharm just what you have to do is that you have to create a new configuration file then you have to add a new configuration for that click on edit configuration click plus button Python script path path to Odoo bin and inside the parameters what you have to specify in parameters you have to copy the path to the configuration file copy path come here edit configuration then just put minus c path to the configuration file select the python interpreter in which you need to run odoo instance so i'll choose python 3.8 working directory you can say it click on apply click on ok and you can start and stop your odoo instance so this is how you can configure multiple Odoo instance using PyCharm. So that's it for the day. If you have any doubts, feedbacks or suggestions, don't hesitate to contact us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com. So that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day.